Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Today we are going to talk about full length test series and we are going to talk about in detail. We are not going to miss any point. This is everything that you need to know about full length test series. So please listen carefully. These are the things that I'm discussing after five years of experience, three years of me preparing myself and two years of guiding a lot of students, probably more than that, like three to four years of guiding students. So listen carefully, otherwise you might just regret it if you come across this video after your gate examination and you said, oh, I made the same mistake that he just mentioned one month before the examination. So let's talk about it one by one. First, we are going to talk about the importance, why we need to give full length test series if you're serious about this gate examination. And it is after a month, you must be giving full length test series and we are going to discuss why. And after that, we are going to discuss what should be the appropriate frequency of your full length test series. How often should you give it? How many should you give? And ultimately, first and second point is going to converge into the test series analysis, which I'm going to discuss in brief. So let's get into it one by one. So why do we give full length test series? Number one, we do not give full length test series to find out what rank we are going to get in our gate examination. For obvious reasons, your test series marks are not going to be cumulatively added to your gate performance. So it does not matter. And I've seen plenty of examples of those people who are scoring or getting a rank under 10 in test series and ultimately gets thrown beyond rank of thousands in gate examination. So it does not matter. Why do we give full length test series? There are two reasons. Number one, you get acquainted to solving that many questions in that limited amount of time. You're building a strategy. You're building your own method. How are you going to deal with those questions? Above all, you're building a stamina of continuously solving questions or sitting over there for three straight hours. Moreover, the second reason is that you are learning what are your mistakes, what are your faults, your weaknesses. That is something that you're going to work on. And I'm going to discuss that with more detail in the third point, the test series analysis. Now, first, let us get into what should be the proper frequency. If this year's gate examination is the serious attempt of yours, you really want to get something out of it, I would say at least six to eight full length test series should be given. This is required for you to develop that strategy and also build on your improvements. The problem that most students face is that the first few tests that they are going to give, they're performing horribly. Like they're getting nine marks, 15 marks, 20 marks out of 100. And thus they are so tense, they are terrified and they just do not want to appear in full length test series because they think that this will just demotivate them. They have to understand that this is part of the whole process of improvement and everyone scores just like that everybody because you must be ready with all the subjects but how to deal with all the subjects and deal with different kind of questions on the same three hour examination that requires a little bit practice so if you look at it graphically the first three to four tests you're going to find improvement because that whole pattern is building in your brain how are you going to deal with so many questions in this much amount of time and after that, what happens with most people, which is obviously not preferable, but this happens with most, is that you're going to reach a plateau. The marks is not increasing. So you're going to see maybe like 19, 20, 30, and then you're going to see 45, and then you're going to see 46, 47, 45, 46, 47, like that, you have reached a plateau. And that again can be only solved with test series analysis, which we are going to cover. But what is the appropriate interval? Well, that completely depends on your improvement. That is what you have to monitor. Some people just give test series again and again without improving themselves. And you cannot improve yourself without working on your weaknesses. So this is a thumb rule. We are going to talk about improvements, but this is a thumb rule. If you're not seeing like a three to five marks improvement in every test, you need to increase the gap. Why? Well, that is the gap in which we are going to work on our weakness. We are going to find our weakness using test series analysis. Then we are going to maybe giving subject wise test series. Maybe we are going to be solving some star mark previous year question. If some material is left, we are going to solve that more. And thus we are going to strengthen what is weak. It is comfortable to keep on working on what you're strong at. And that is what most people do. But that is not what you do if you want to improve yourself. Now, test series analysis is a detailed topic and I'm going to cover it properly how you are going to do it. I've made few videos before as well, but over time things get changed and we need to adapt accordingly. So we are going to discuss it. So as we have discussed before, you want improvement 
and your improvement decides the frequency so it is very important for you to gain as much improvement as possible but the people who are going to reach plateaus are the people who are not finding out what are their mistakes and that's what we are going to focus on in a very numerical and logical method so after the test all you're going to do is divide all the questions that were there into three categories number one the questions that you got right number two the questions that you got wrong and number three the questions that you did not attempt now the first type that is questions that you did right you do not need to pay a lot of attention maybe just go through the given solution if you found a better way to solve it that's good but that is going to take negligible amount of time because our objective over here is to save time as well so that you can improve more you can give more full plan test series and it's an upward spiral the second one and the third one has two subcategories. Number one, garbage questions. So we all know the full length test series or any kind of test series will be having a lot of what we call irrelevant question. Now you can bring the most difficult question of this world, but if it is not relevant to that examination, solving it one month before the examination is kind of waste of time and waste of a lot of motivation because you are going to get demotivated if you're not able to solve a lot. So it is very important for you to be aware of what kind of questions are asked. And I'm expecting that you guys have gone through previous year questions so that you already know what kind of questions are relevant and what are not relevant nobody can actually judge it for you and that is why going through previous year question prior to giving full length test series is very important i'm talking about those people who have done that already so you have divided these two categories the second and third category into relevant and irrelevant question irrelevant question you do not bother about again we are going to save time over there we are not going to go through it not through the question again not through the solution but relevant questions are if you made it wrong chances are that your concepts were weak over there or you made a silly mistake good now these are going to go into count every relevant unattempted question gets one green star and every relevant wrong question gets another green star now all you have to do is mark your subjects let us say 12 subjects that you are having in your stream and find out which subject got how many stars if the stars are more than like two like three four five that means that three four five questions that were relevant you are not able to solve and based on this you are going to find out which is your weakest subject so let us say if a subject is having four five six ten stars that means that you definitely need to work upon that and spend more time in your weak subjects and the strong subjects now do not need much time because the strong subjects will be anyways revised in the subsequent full length test series if there's a weakness over there you'll find it but more important than to just find Find out which subjects are weak you have to find out even which topics are weak so that you can save even further time let us take an example of fluid mechanics if fluid mechanics have six mistakes or six relevant mistakes you can't really say the entire fluid mechanics is weak but you can say that there are a few topics of fluid mechanics which are weak let us say fluid dynamics is weak but fluid statics is okay you'll have to analyze that where you are making mistakes so let us say those green stars belong to fluid dynamics then fluid dynamics is weak so when i'm going to work on my weakness i'm only going to work on fluid dynamics not the static part yet now you will say that there might be some questions they never actually made it to those 65 questions so how will i know if that is weak or strong well that is why you give more number of full length test series you'll have to give this method time to understand what are your weak subjects after giving three four five full length test series you will definitely cover every weakness that you have and that's what you need to work upon so if you're scoring very low that means more weaknesses that means you need more time to work on your weaknesses and that is why more time in between two subsequent full length test series so now you understand what is more important the highest priority is improvement and then the numbers now what is the upper limit what is the maximum full length test series that i should give well the maximum only occurs if you have already started giving full length test series back in december and that would be 24 i will never say that give more full length test series than 24 that is way too much but it is okay what is the frequency will never give full length test series twice or thrice on the same day i think that is too much your brain is already exhausted with three hours of examination you better spend time in analyzing and working on your weakness every day is okay 
what is the maximum that i can expect well 80 85 marks is okay you do not need to hunt for 90 100 if you can do better that is okay even 70 75 is all right but obviously you should try to increase rank does not matter but if you can get into under 10 that is good now that does not mean you will get under 10 in gate examination but obviously it is better than having a back rank so it is it is a benefit but do not get all full over your head that now i'm going to perform awesome in my examination it is just a good sign but it is not a surety so ultimately there is no fixed mathematical rule of how many test series you are going to give what is the exact way to improve you will have to work upon your performance as i've always said this is an individualistic sport and you will have to work upon yourself to improve yourself it is very possible to jump from 50 marks in test series to let us say 80 marks in test series it can be done but you will have to constantly do the test series analysis if you do not do that i promise you you are going to reach a plateau you are not going to continue on increasing your score or marks that you're going to get now i tried to cover as many questions as possible all the questions that i've got over the past three four years and recently also with student interaction whatever i've got if i miss some put it down in the comment section i'll certainly reply to you and you'll get your answer over there that's about it all the best to you guys happy new year but it is a tough time for you i know and there's no time to celebrate stay at it you can celebrate new year next year and i'm always with you any problem comment it down below the video is going to keep on coming the support is going to continue thanks for your support hit like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't we bring these videos all the time and that's about it see you next time till then bye